All right, let's take ball in hand and run all these balls out. So this is another one of the illuminated cueing arts, the iCats training system. It's another one of their eight ball patterns. I can't remember how many patterns there are, but I scrolled through them. I saw one that I did the last time where the nine was froze to the rail over there. And then I, I went a couple of more and I saw this one and this one looked kind of complicated too. Only because I don't like balls that are out here in the middle of the table that it's too easy to impede cue ball movement if you're trying to get around the table and it's um sometimes it's hard to get shape on a ball that's right out here in the middle of the table like this you can easily get upside down and get the, get a weird angle so if i were to shoot the solids i'd probably shoot this one first just to get it out of there i would probably actually i would shoot the six ball over here that looks like a good game plan. Shoot the six here, roll the cue ball forward into this area. Play the three ball, come over here. Play both of these balls here. Then shoot the one, the four, and the two to bring the cue ball out here for a shot on the eight. It's coming right toward the eight ball. So that's the pattern I like. That seems pretty easy. With the stripes... I don't like the 10 out here in the middle of the table. I don't like these two balls kind of down here around these other balls. It just um, too easy to mess up. I really don't like this because they don't go. This goes here, but it's very, very tight. I would probably just put the cue ball there, play a stop shot, play the 11 ball on the side, play the nine ball in the corner, Bring the cue ball over here, play the 14, come out, and get this angle that I don't like on that ball. But coming off of the 14 ball straight toward the 10 should leave me okay. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to play this ball with just a stop shot. But just by just a tiny bit of draw, just enough to leave me. Let me see where I'm going to be with this ball. See, I don't want to be leaning over here. I don't want to be leaning over like this. Here wouldn't be bad. If I could be right there, it wouldn't be bad. I'd almost prefer to be here so I can make it just bring the cue ball over and back. Let's see. I can get the first one, just a little stun shot, like a stun roll. A little far, but that's good. One in here, but this works. I'm just going to hit this with straight draw. I'm going to go to the rail and back out a little bit and leave an angle on this 14 ball. That way I can hit this and come straight and not be on a weird angle for this 10. Because I like to shoot the 10 ball. Now that I'm getting really close, I would have picked a ball for the 8 to play before the 8 ball. Usually it's not hard to do. But when the 8's out in the middle of the table like that, it's hard to pick a key ball right before the 8. Because you could easily get a line and have to change a plan. So don't get ahead of yourself and think, oh, I have to get to that key ball it's so far away, I'm not even worried about it. And I'm still not worried about it right now. I know it's going to be one of these two balls. It all depends on what I get on this 10 ball right here. And I can make it happen. So that's what we're going to do. Just hitting this with this straight top, maybe a touch of right hand spin. The camera here is not in the way here. So here it's just a little stun shot. All I have to do is bring the cue ball over to here and I'm on the 12. And I can shoot the 15 up there in the corner with a little inside spin. I either shoot the 8 here or the 8 in the side. Yeah. I could even roll forward. I kind of like this better. I could roll forward to here, have more control. 
playing this ball, drift over here and play the 12 ball here and the 8 ball here. If I don't get that angle, I can play the 12 ball there. Well, let's see. I like that. Oops. I just hit the camera. I knew that was going to be close. See, I'm reevaluating this option here because I happen to be setting pretty good right there. I could just drift the cue ball over to here and be straight in on the 12 ball in the corner. Um, I like that. But if I get a, a weird little upside down angle, I don't want to shoot the 12 that far away from the corner pocket, the ball before the 8 and take a chance on missing it. If I come over here and look at this angle, I can shoot this there. Cue ball's going to come off the rail here, come over to here, then I'll play the 15 ball. So I've got multiple options here. I just have to decide which one I feel most comfortable playing. I'll tell you, if I can get the cue ball to this diamond right there, that's the easiest way to get out. So a little stun shot. Now I can I can jack my cue up a little bit and just shoot this 12 ball and leave the cue ball there. But what I'm going to do is shoot the 12 ball, go to the rail, come all the way back over here. So I can shoot the 8 in the same pocket. Just a tiny bit of right hand spin, a lot of top. So that was not, that wasn't the easiest. It got out of line a little bit, but I still made it work. And that's kind of the secret to running out a lot of rocks. You gotta make it work when you get out of line. So I can put the pattern back up here. It looks like this. We'll set all these stripes back out here. And then run the solids. Oh my goodness. I'm not going to put them on the exact numbers that they say. I'm just going to put them out here like this. They're kind of blockers now. We've already run those. So there's there, there, there. Too long. Okay, so now to run the solids, I'm probably going to start. Yeah, I don't like the six and the three kind of out here in the middle like this, but if I do this and roll the cue ball to here, right in there, center table, I'm setting really good to run out. Just a speed, just a little float shot here. And all I have to do here is come off the rail and be anywhere over there. Straight top, no side spin. I see my plan is to just pocket these balls, then pocket this one, then pocket these two and work my way off out of the two ball into this eight ball in the corner up there. I got a little bit of a straight in shot on this five ball. Seven ball does go over here. So I can actually roll over there and play the seven ball in that corner pot. Right on, right on the schedule of where I need to be here. All I have to do on this ball, I mean, some player's going to shoot it straight top and go to the rail and back. I'm going to hit it with draw and come back out. So, depends on what you like the best. I guess I could have blocked out this. 
can see the numbers in the way there. Now here I just have to make sure I leave myself an angle on this two ball. Like in like right there. Without getting behind the nine. It's a big circle area there that'll get me off of this rail onto this eight ball in the corner. So from here, it's a little bit tricky. That's why I'm shooting the one first. But I'm gonna leave the perfect angle just to kind of go right over here on that ball. I'm going to do a straight draw on this one too. All I'm going to do is come off the rail and come right straight toward this eight ball. Just imagining this line coming right off toward that eight ball. I might just use a tiny bit of, I'm just going to use straight draw, like I said, just a tiny bit. I'm going to use a little bit of right spin, but it's easy to lose control of that, and I would have been there. So from here, sitting sporty for the win.